Hello and welcome to the CMC Markets video chart of the week with myself, market analyst David Madden. Today's date is Wednesday the 1st of November and the time has just gone 12 p.m. GMT. The chart of the week we're going to look at today is the IBEX 35 or the Spain 35 as we call it on our platform here at CMC. Despite uh, the, the sell-off over the summertime, 2017 has been a good year for the Spanish for the Spain 35. Year to date, um, the index is up nearly 13%. So looking at, at the big picture here, it has been quite a good run, despite the fact that we had a downward trend over the summertime. And obviously, the political uncertainty in front of Catalonia has added uh, somewhat to the volatility of the IBEX 35. Taking a look at the market on a bit of a closer level, we can see that the IBEX 35 was in a fairly clear downward ch channel, downward trend over the summertime and it was long in its downward trend well before the situation surrounding Catalonia really kicked off. But now that tensions surrounding Catalonia have cooled somewhat, we see the market really make we see the Spanish 35 make a fairly clear decisive break north of the downward channel that it has been in. As we can see here from late October the markets broke north uh, of both the 50 day moving average and the 100 day moving average and is now trading at just north of 10,500. Turning our attention to the MACD indicator, if you look at the momentum component of it, we can see that this positive push higher on the, on the market was confirmed by a sizable increase in positive momentum. So therefore we can be more confident that the, this upward trend is going to continue as the momentum is clearly with the buyers. Taking a look at the moving averages, first off the 50 day moving average. As the market was in its downward trend, the 50 day moving average in late September and also in October did act as a level of resistance uh, to any kind of gains the IBEX tried to make. But once we, the situation changed in Catalonia, the market managed to break north of the 50 day moving average here and then actually it acted, actually acted as support and a kind of a jumping off point in the, in the last week or so. Turning our attention to the 100 day moving average, we can see as the market was drifting lower throughout the summertime in, in, Ju in July, the, fifth, the 100 day moving average acted both as support on the way down and then acted as a resistance to kind of cap rallies as the market was trying to, to, to gain back ground. As we can see here, uh, only, last, only uh, earlier on this week, the IBEX 35 managed to trade north of the 100 day moving average and in fact it actually opened above it only yesterday uh, and, and now we've, we've, we've traded today at a level not seen since early August so we're talking nearly three month highs here on the IBEX 35. Now what does, what does all this mean? Could this be the beginning of the IBEX 35 playing catch up with other Eurozone indices? It's worth noting that both the DAX in Germany and the CAC in France have gone on to produce record all-time highs today, while the Spain 35 is still languishing behind. But could this be the beginning of, a, of, the, of the Spanish market catching up with its Eurozone counterparts? If this positive move were to continue, one potential level of resistance to keep an eye out for would be this price here, the August high of 10,758. Then beyond that, we may see we may see some resistance come into play at the mid-July high of 10,912, and then north of that, we could potentially see some resistance come into play at the, at the, the June high of 11,047. If that was to be the case, you would like to see that, that, that positive move on the market confirmed by an increase in momentum, an in increase in positive momentum on the MACD indicator down here. But if the market turns over on itself, where could the market potentially find support? Well, seeing as the 100-day moving average and the 50-day moving average previously acted as well, support and resistance over the last number of months, those levels could be significant should the market turn lower. The 100-day moving average could, be, could provide a support which is currently at 10,417 and south of that, the 50-day moving average which previously acted as resistance um, in October and September may act as support uh, and the 50-day moving average currently comes into play at 10,000. 274. Notice how the market found a lot of found a lot of buying pressure just north of the 10,100 mark. So, if the market breaks below 10,100, 
that could be an early indication that the market is about to turn over on itself again. And we may look to, to move south yet again. And should we have a decisive break south of 10,100 this price here, we could then potentially target the October low of 9,866. Now, if you are going to be trading at the IBEX 35 or the Spain 35, as we call it here, it is worth, it, worth keeping an eye on the, the political situation in Catalonia and Spain because it obviously is quite volatile. Thank you for listening. Uh, please tune in next week.